All right, friends, you are looking at black cohosh. Black cohosh. Black cohosh is a medicinal. And it is very good uh, for treating menopause, the symptoms of menopause and menopause in general. Uh, it is good for PMS. Uh, anything to do with a, uh, a woman's monthly cycle, very good for that. But it is really good for menopause. It is also good for inducing labor. Yeah, bring that kid on. It is good for that as well. Now, uh, you need to consult with a local expert. You need to consult with somebody who is very, very in tune uh, to wild edibles and wild medicinals before you go taking anything. I am not an expert. Listen to me. Now, I do know my wild edibles. There's no doubt about it. Uh, and I still don't call myself an expert, but I know my wild edibles without a doubt. I know what to eat and what not to eat. I do know wild medicinals. I do know wild medicinals. But um, I would never give anybody advice on taking something for medicinal purposes because I am not a doctor. I'm not a herbalist. I am not anything like that. This is just what I do. I've learned all of this for myself and no other reason. Anyway, uh, so take it at your own risk. That is up to you. But it is an excellent, excellent for you women going through menopause. You need to look into it. Maybe you can get you some pills at the health food store or whatever. But uh, this is it. Black cohosh. Very, very medicinal. A very good plant. Now, this plant grows all over the property. I'm on the retreat property here in northeast Tennessee. And uh, just taking a walk. I uh, finished up some electrical work and I thought I'd go on a walk. I mean, look at this patch. This is, this is black cohosh. It is all over this side of the mountain. And I think, if I'm not mistaken, I do believe this is the east, I don't know, southeast maybe, side of the mountain. Uh, just kind of confusing. Uh, anyway, so this is it. Black cohosh and friends, it grows all over this side of the mountain here on the retreat property the retreat mountain it is all over black cohosh now those leaves they can they can be shaped uh, all sorts of ways all sorts of ways um, they, they kind of change i mean they all look the same but they vary i should say so let's let's just say that they all look the same uh, uh, similar. They all look similar, but they do vary. But they still look similar. They're not. They're not different. You know, completely different from one another. Uh, and I guess it just depends on where you are and what stage you catch them in, and that sort of thing. Uh, sometimes they can begin to look almost, almost like uh, the the sassafras leaf. But that is it, black cohosh. My, 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 what an excellent plant. An excellent plant for, uh, for menopause. Anything to do with a monthly cycle for women. For inducing labor. So look into it, friends. You can get it at the health food store. You can go pick it out in the woods. But if you're going to pick it out in the woods, you got to be careful. I am not an expert. Consult with a local expert before you put anything in your mouth or on your body. Like I said, this is just what I know, so I do this for myself. And uh, kind of giving you an idea. Black cohosh. I'm telling you, this mountain that we have here is loaded with so many wild edibles and medicinals. It is unreal. It is unreal loaded with them just today a uh, uh, wild ginger and bloodroot and black cohosh and wild yam which is another good medicinal uh, and it and it just goes on and on on and on just loaded with it loaded with it especially on this side of the mountain that uh, that cohosh is is gone to is starting to flower so that's pretty awesome anyway get a good look at it 
the leaves kind of vary uh, somewhat. It depends on what stage, what region you are in, what stage you catch them in. Oh, there's some trillium down there. I don't want to go look for it, but it's down there. I just passed it. Anyway, so lots of stuff here. Lots of stuff. Anyway, friends, we'll see you.